Hi everyone, welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louie, science teacher and talking head, talking about science education and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. This is episode 78. I've been, ex I've been experimenting, excuse me, with AI in my practice. And I want to show you one way I've tinkered with ChatGPT. Specifically, I'll show you how I'm trying to use the speed of ChatGPT and apply it to developing fun science resources. In this case, riddles that I give to my students to review science vocab. Now, why riddles? Because I want to have my students review science vocabulary in a fun and creative way. Now consider this riddle that ChatGPT created. Check it out. It says, sturdy and still where particles confide. No shape shifting here, no fluid to provide. Firm and unyielding in matter's pride. What am I in this riddle's stride? And the answer, it's a solid. All right. So too often, science vocab review activities have students like write down definitions or match words to definitions. But we can do better. And with AI, I wanted to do better and do something creative using it. So it took me less than 15 minutes to put together a handout with nine science riddles. And the most time consuming part for me was logging into ChatGPT, figuring out what vocabulary words to use, and probably cutting and pasting the riddles that I wanted onto a Word document. And I'll show you some more examples or some more details in a second. But before I continue, Handouts for this episode are available at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP78 for episode 78. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now quickly, I've attempted to use ChatGPT to craft better assignments, rubrics, and test questions, all with mixed results. But one thing that I've come to realize in using ChatGPT is that it's important to have a good idea of what my goal is when using ChatGPT before I run a query. Because just like Google, if I'm not specific in what I'm asking for, or I do a crappy job at asking it, I'm going to get a lot of crap back. In other words, if I put crap in, I get crap out. So thus, having a good prompt is a good start. And for riddle writing, I've come up with this prompt, which works great. It goes, write. Three riddles for each of the following terms. Insert terms here. Make sure the riddles do not contain any part of the word the riddle is for. So first, when it comes to the terms I want to review, I limit it to 10 items at a time. This is because there is a limit to how much text comes up in a response. You know, a response that's too long will show up over multiple chat bubbles. And now this doesn't affect the accuracy, but it is a pain to read. Okay, so next, I ask for three riddles for each term instead of one, because this gives me options. You know, perhaps the first one is not very good, but I like the second one. I have options to choose from. And since AI works great at repetitive tasks, there really isn't a problem asking for more. And in fact, there is some variety in each riddle as well. So for my grade eights, I asked ChatGPT to write some riddles for terms related to states of matter, KMT, and density. So specifically, one looked like this. Uh, write three riddles for each of the following terms. A solid. And make sure the riddles do not contain any part of the word the riddle is for. And here are those riddles. Three riddles produced by ChatGPT. The first one I, wrote, I read for you already, and the other two you can find on my, in my handouts on my website. You can choose the best ones and cut and paste onto a document. Okay? Simple as that. Give science riddles via ChatGPT a try. It's functional and a simple way to get started using ChatGPT, and it's kind of creative as well. That's it for this episode. Please smash the like or subscribe button or leave a comment below. Handouts, once again, are at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP78. Thanks for watching. And let's talk science education again soon.